Welcome to Digital Menu. I will be presenting. So, Digital Menu is a one source of truth for restaurant owners. So, the problem that I saw was that restaurant owners do not have a source of truth for their menus. So, you know, I've, I've worked with side contractor um, projects where I had to create the, the websites for these clients. However, whenever it came to having their menus and displaying it on the website, it was a mess. So they're like, oh, I haven't updated my menus. My Grubhub doesn't even have my menus, right? So the delay in making the website has always been down to the menus. You know, sometimes they have to update it manually and then send it as a CSV file to Grubhub, Postmates, their webmaster, in this reference myself, different platforms because their menus are not always the same. So I thought of a solution and I was like, why not make a, a dashboard where they can update their menus and simultaneously as they say populate or on the on the app in the future you will populate to each of these different um, applications Grubhub Postmates their website an app that they might have any online ordering wherever their menus are displayed or, you know, I want to give them, if they still want to use a CSV file for their records, they can download it right away. So, how do you use? It's simple. They create an account, add the restaurant, and they start adding menus. And they give out the links to these, to these places to make an API call. Our competitor in landscape is Olo, Anytime Link, um... I haven't added here Yext, however, it's super private and very expensive. So, the dashboard is easy to use, um, I, at least I believe. Um, super intuitive, super robust. It, I did get user feedback from restaurant owners of how they would like the dashboard to look like, so that making it way much easier. Um, I'm thinking of making it free so I can later on sell them on other, on other services. So, I'm going to show you a quick live demo. Oh, um, the tech stack is React, um, Redux. I originally had it as a Node app and I switched it over to a Django app. So a, a Django backend. So you go here, the user's logged in. You can go here, you see the different restaurant names. They can view location. Here's the link that they can copy and give it out to people. So let's see the menu and let's add an item. Um, we can add a gummy bear burger. And it would be fourteen ninety five, and it would be amazing burger made from gummy bears. So we add the item. Oh, you want to change the name? Is it a P one? It can be. I don't know. Adriana's gummy burger. Uh, we're switching it to five five five. Post Street, San Francisco. Oh no, state. Sorry, California, San Francisco. Whatever. Save changes, go back to the dashboard. Um, 
View locations right, right here. Adriana's gummy bear, gummy burger. So, yeah, I'm um, I'm currently. Um, hopefully this this app will turn into something big. Um, I'm going to YC with it. So. That's all.